while B changed his the genres and all that, wrong. it gravitated to other more people like RJ. RJ not listening to swanging them pistols, but he listening to ah, 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 all that stuff, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> little baby can never do, he cannot switch his flow. Right yeah. yeah. Little baby can switch his flow. <laughs> name five, yeah. name six songs where it's so different. He so haven't yet, but he can. Is this how he got him? Like you who Something listen to him now, just how you got people like you who listen to him now. Little baby can do that, shit, still be itself, and still go to the World Cup or whatever the f else. All right, so what's it? What, and go what's it? overseas right, so and do it? that. Sir, sir, sir. Young boy in the house. Young boy in the house. If if you had to change yourself to make them come to you, bruh, it's no longer good money. Okay, I, I changed my perspective. Just because I'm talking like this right here with you, don't mean I can't go to somebody else and say, "Hey, how are you doing?" Cool. I switched my flow, and now you like me. I'm went from being on the streets with AK-47 to being in the 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 to being Okay, and no. Ju now he got people like Juice World. Okay. Juice World. Okay. <laughs> you foolish, nigga. Oh, you lie. on the same You the fire. Listen, listen. Your boy went from being on the streets with AK 47s to painting his nails to get people like him to listen to him. Shut up. <laughs> Lil Baby. Lil Baby was just on the street doing donuts and track hauls for 42 Doug. And then a year later was in the World Cup performing overseas. He didn't change. He's a bot. No, no. Use a bot. You the one who changed. Goofy. Okay. The money ain't do nothing but make him go harder. Okay. Stupid. Okay. You changed your character for some money. For some no, money. Okay. So if I'm gonna go to a business meeting, I'm about to go to the business meeting and be like, no, I don't give a fuck. It do make sense, bro. <laughs> Just cause you address somebody different don't mean that you change, gang. Why would he change? Why would he change? Call that nigga. Call that nigga. If he been in, if he been in jail for years, been in house oh arrest for years, God. why would he change? Why he so You expect him to go back to jail, right? That he got steam coming out. Now look, this one ain't He got steam coming out of his head because he's f***ing right. Hey, I just want you to look at You see him right here? He just said, Little Baby has more money than Rick Ross. Oh my Cash. Cash. Him right here. You see him right here? He thinks Lil Baby, he thinks Lil Double O got more money than Lil Baby. You see him right here? You know Jada the Youngin? That's all I'm going to say. You, him, he Bro, oh my God. It don't need no more talk. Just look at him. Here, just look. You don't even got to What's up guys? Welcome back to Endless Souls. Today we're doing a Q&A video. Uh, got everybody here. My name is Jeremiah. Uh, it's Mel, RJ, Brandon, Vaughn, Kenan, our security, Sir Javi. So let's get started. So basically, he's just gonna be, our security's gonna be reading out the questions and we're just gonna answer them as we go. So. First question. How long have each of you been reset? Uh, yeah, I wanna say I started probably 20, 2021 when the Lucy dropped. Are we gonna do this with not a lot? Man, I've been reselling for probably like four years. Yeah, fully, well, uh, fully. What made you start? I just had a passion for shoes, for real, for real. Like, when I was younger, I always wanted Jordans, like the high end Jordans, and I was playing with them. So uh, I started reselling probably like a year ago, but I wouldn't say I really started to like take it truly seriously until like we opened the store. Honestly, so but I started because I always liked shoes, and when like when I got introduced to reselling by Mill, uh, I really just started. I really didn't want to take it serious. Me, I probably say I started probably like two years ago, and I probably started getting into it because I always wanted to have like a business. And I always seen Vaughn. That Vaughn, my cousin, always seen Vaughn. He was always selling shoes, and then I kind of got like into it with him, and then that's when I met D and everything. And ever since then. I've been reselling for like two, four years. I uh, started reselling with, uh, or not with, but I started reselling because I had a passion for shoes and I knew I liked making money too, so I just put it together and started selling shoes. I've been gapping. I said two to four. Two to four. <laughs> That's a jail sentence. <laughs> I didn't say two to four. You said four. I said two, four years. Oh. It, was like, it, it, it was like. How long have you been reselling? It's the grandfather. Uh, <laughs> I've been reselling for like four years now. How many did you start reselling? Just liking shoes. That was it, B. That was it, B. <laughs> 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 no, okay, okay, this one, this one. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This will lead to the next question. Yeah. If y'all wasn't reselling shoes, where could you see yourself today? That's oh, a great God. question. I start with this terrible question. That's a terrible question. That's a terrible question. I don't know. Bro. I'm right. Be in college. Just not doing anything. That's not bad. What's wrong with college? College cool. Yeah. What, uh, what about you, Vaughn? What other hobby you got outside of reselling shoes that you see yourself? Uh. Yeah, you pray. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll probably be somewhere doing with some like with sports though. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I can see that. So he can be a I can see that too. Yeah, big, sure. I'm big. I'm big into sports, man. Look up his highlights. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, what would I be if I uh, never started reselling? Uh, I honestly can't really say because I, I was never like really in a college like after high school. So I don't, I don't, I don't feel like KFC, bro. Like <laughs> what? Like, wait? I don't. <laughs> I feel like I'll do something, but it's just like, I always want to do something. Like, I can't just, like, I can't sit still or something. So I want to figure out something, but I don't know what I do. You I still do nothing that, that's too regular. Like, yeah. Do, yeah. I'll figure out something, but I seriously don't know what the plan will be. Or, you know, I feel like I will be in college. Though. I'll definitely be in college, but I'll figure out something. Uh, I'll be in college for sure. And I'll probably be working. Uh, not working, but like towards. I was gonna say I was. I'll probably be still like in a business setting, but like with computers instead of shoes. My boy's got his own computer, man. Yeah, that's the man. That's the man behind the AC right there. I probably be in college, but um, I don't know. I probably did exhibition if we did. Probably college doing engineering or something. I don't know. Engineering. Man, you will have that. Or playing now. No, no, no. I'm probably hooping. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, no, the, the engineer, I never thought you would. Oh, you, you ever see the people at the wreck that like come like, here every day, like, but not good? Sir, I do this shit. I do this shit. What is your first pair of shoes you ever brought yourself? Bought yourself or just got in general? Or like just brought yourself. Like as a young kid, they was just like hard. He was like, man, I gotta get them. Like you, you went cut grass, oh, did whatever you had to do to get them. I really okay. I, I think I got an answer. I think mine probably them the Jordan Four Royalties. Those are the first like black and gold. Yeah, yeah. yeah the first Jordan sneaker that like I was like I gotta get those. I was probably the LeBron Ten. Oh, that's what yeah. We want to go to LeBron's. LeBron's. That's it. <laughs> LeBron's. I always wanted the Black History LeBron's. Which one? The, the, the Black oh, History with the black ones. Oh, those were so crazy. Yeah, I probably said that. was the Easter Kyrie ones. Everybody was talking about them at the Eastern. Oh yeah, the Kyrie. First Kyrie. Kyrie, bro. I had like four pairs of them. Man, them was crazy. Mine was powder blue tens. Jordans. That's some Jordan shoe. I waited in line for them. My first shoe I ever waited in line for. Uh, the first shoe that I bought that I like always wanted, probably the Black Hat Fours. Like them, the one is I always wanted those. Bought them yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I bought them a minute ago. Then like you got to think that, something that, like he said. No, he, he said, said, he said, said shoe. And he said, you always no, wanted. He said the first shoe you always wanted, like you bought it with your own money, like. Uh, Oh, that was the question. Oh, that yeah. is. My, my answer is wrong. Then. I, yeah, I always wanted the Manus too, but like, well, I value the Black Hat. I always wanted, uh, I'd probably say cement. I still don't got them. Yeah, well, I want the cement. Cement, the cement. I would say the cement threes, but I had those. Out of everybody in the group, who do you see forgetting about a uh, release date? Oh, man. Mm. Like, you mean RJ, forgetting or not caring about it? Yeah, it's just RJ, for RJ, tomorrow go pick up the what's the name they drop and then he just, oh. RJ, I would, I would not, I would not. I would not Jerry Vaughn. Definitely not Vaughn. Vaughn won't forget about it. Vaughn won't forget. He, he, might, he might not do it. He might not do it. But he ain't going to forget it. He's not going to forget. No, he's not going to care. I swear. He won't care. He might not do it, but he's not going to forget. It's this side of the line. Yeah. yeah. It's not going to care. It's nowhere near them. But I mean, like, none of us really go in store no more. So, like, it's been a while. You just wake up. That's the thing. A lot missed that. Like, you just wake up. You have your money ready. You get up. You don't want to get ready. You're just ready to go. Yeah, that's, that's a different feeling. It is. For sure. That's the only thing I could I go to school every single day and right, be late and not care, but I'll wake up for a release without an alarm. Next question is: As Ella Souls is growing on YouTube and get people out of state, people watching all that good stuff. Thank y'all for watching all this. Where would you see uh, your first out of state store? Most likely Atlanta, just because the exposure there and uh, the vibe is just totally different. I feel like if you know if you was to go in a building, you know you gonna see more people wearing you know the shoes that we like. Uh, from, uh, oh brother, this guy stinks! But mom, what about you? Where do you see? Uh, I would say Boston because I don't really know no store. That's Boston. So I feel like it'll bring like it'll bring energy to the city, right. and like it'll be different. Like it gives them the shoes a different look. It'll so, be in it'll a be different. Areas like that. Yeah. That's that. Never thought. I ain't, I ain't never been to Boston either, so but I heard it's good. I heard it's a good place. I would say like Houston, Texas, just because Six. I like I like the style out there and like the type of culture and the traffic. Like I just feel like and so like that'd be a good location. I could not see this nigga no truck. What a cowboy hat. So what about you? I probably say I really, really not that sure, but I'd say like the goal is to be somewhere in probably like a. 
California, New York, Florida type of spot. Yeah. That's like that's, that's just man. you just gotta be ready for it. But yeah. if you're ready for it, that's the goal. Like that's the money. Like the strip of Vegas, right? That's that. You you go to strip of Vegas, like on the strip, and I'm saying Vegas, Vegas. Just imagine, yeah. bro. There's so many clubs and Vegas don't sleep that like your business will just be. Yeah, I, I swear, like if I had that, I feel like I have a 24 hour open. A 24 hour store. shoe store. That's 24 hour shoe store in Vegas is crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. That's, that's, crazy. that's, that's down there now. Hey, if somebody didn't already took that or. The, yeah, we got yeah, a pass for that. Yeah, we yeah. Going. Somebody ain't put me in on that. I probably would say like Miami or something. It's just a lot of tra foot traffic out there. Everybody go to Miami for like different breaks and everything. It, Miami just, it just breaks. Wow. I'll probably say Washington. That's, that's where that comes from. I just never thought you said where. Well, I never thought that too, but that's no, very smart. Washington, Washington D.C. or Washington the state? He don't know the D.C. He don't know the D.C. He's in trouble. 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 He's
Bro, for real? YouTube, you don't like that? Yeah, YouTube. Shit. I mean. That's a bit of a. Who's the most short tempered at the shop? Man, oh, man. man, I get what y'all say. Hey, I get where y'all coming from. Y'all know what y'all just say to the like, bro. Tell y'all, bro, like, bro. Bro, you gotta understand, bro. Like, bro. bro. This is like, <laughs> like this. <laughs> take the whole store for no reason. Bro, take your TV too, bro. Bro, take your TV too, bro. Hello, bro. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna have a number one. Who number two? Who the toy drawer, bro? Oh, I got the teeth in that nigga. Who got number two? Who number two? Don't say B. Nah, not Brandon. Brandon got a different temper. He got a different temper. He it's definitely got no, it's it's a take a lot. It take a lot. Yeah, like, and I, I done seen B get mad. Like, right, B really do be get mad. Take a whole no, 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 no. I say, when it comes to temper, temper, no. When it comes to, when it comes to, I was gonna say, when it comes to, Jerry got a different temper. I was, I was gonna say, like, take a little bit to get there, but Jerry has When it comes to getting angry, low key Jerry. Jerry, you can't lie though. You do be getting Oh my god, y'all did a fast in this. No, y'all blow me, y'all blow me, and I just wanna talk to y'all, but I'm not about to, I'm not about to no, take, Jerry I'm, not about to, into a girl. I'm not about to take the, take the yeah, paint off the walls, like. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. Jerry That's says, why I say it's a different, different temper. Jerry turned into a, a complete evil. <laughs> Girls get quiet, they get weird, they, they leave. Start, yeah, start you get, we are your, just go home. I'm like, what? <laughs> Y'all stop yelling at me. <laughs> yeah, I put, I put, I put fine over me, but I guess. Crazy. Shut the you f up, me. Me. I mean, fine. Let's do it. 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 let us do it let us what, what, social media wise, like what's some of y'all plans for social media with some of the goals y'all want like as far as marketing or websites? Oh, Take care of followers. Like, subscribers, you do? Oh, well. Anything. I want to get followers on Instagram for real. It, it just, it just look good. More YouTube content, more vlogs, going to every event. Probably the TikTok. Probably like 20K on TikTok. Hey, hey if y'all watch this video and y'all ever seen our TikTok, too, we had a lot of views and it slowly decreased. I'm gonna just show you why. He had gave us a lot of views and then he seen it and he was like, you know what? No, no more views. And then he came and then tried to take it over. It ruined the TikTok. I was doing I wouldn't say it ruined it. He, he kept it going, but. Definitely more growth for sure and then more. I know it's not really like a social media standpoint, but more online orders. And That's like still promote good. promoting more, you see what I'm saying? Yeah, hell yeah. Promote. That just comes from it. I'll say promotion too though, bro. He right. Yeah, yeah, promotion. Yeah. Y'all gotta like I feel But like even like, that like this right here, that's promotion. Just cause they might yeah, mess with yeah, us, they'll yeah, yeah. buy it. Oh, we want everybody to know we do except after pay, so you know. Hi. No, I mean together? No. I see our social media like I wanna see our YouTube take off. Yeah, like yeah. crazy. Like, not just like any old in store day. Like I wouldn't say like if we're open on a holiday or we're doing like a big sale, we gotta like traffic. Uh, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah. Man. Like for as far as promotion, like that's what I'm saying. Like what well, I'm saying, like bro, we gotta start going out and about more. I feel like face to face promotion is way better now. It is. Like it just made it means you gonna so remember it. Yeah. Like this shit ham is, but if we could, if it was a way to go see all of them, bro, in person, it'd be way better. You know? Yeah, we about to uh, we about to host our own event at the uh, Brown Stadium, so it's about to be a fat like whole system. Anyway, <laughs> uh, uh, who's most likely to have an ox in the shop? Fine, you, he uh, shouldn't. You, you and Vaughn, it shouldn't be. I that. mean, the two people who shouldn't have it are the most likely to have it. We in the car, we on the car going on a road trip. Who's going to have an ox? Besides 20, me. 2023, <laughs> and we're listening to Mozzie. In the car. You listen to Mazi? Mazi Lord. See, he's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's the If you don't know who Mazi is, look at him. How you gonna ride him in the video? He gonna come shot one day. No, you good artist. <laughs> 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 Next question is How did the Endless Souls team meet? Did everybody got the Yeah, everybody got the And then start with yours. How you met all of us just from your perspective? How I met Jerry, I met him in middle school. And then Mel, I met him probably like fifth, fifth grade, and we played football together when we was in high school. And then RJ, I honestly met him with Noah. That's what I know. Yeah, I met him with Noah, and he, he bought uh, my panda off me last year. And then B, 
be, oh, these two, I met them, uh, I think we was, we was juniors, and I met y'all at Beachwood in the hallway, and I thought Vaughn was the shiestiest person ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Black Forces on, um, Nick Tay, I, I, I didn't know who he was. <laughs> <laughs> what about, give us more in detail, what was your, what was your first Paris? Like a person with Jerry though. I thought Jerry looked weird, so I ain't talking to him. <laughs> like, did you think back then, honestly, that you would ever be a business? That's oh. the biggest thing. Oh, no, yeah. who was gonna weird? Oh, none, none of us were. All of us oh, were fucking around man. each other, and we didn't know, like, yeah, it was the same school. Yeah, but bro, 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 me, me and him went to shake it together like in elementary school, and then he went to start going to middle school. school, and then like, it just oh. it, it, Hell, I was like, I don't know. Me and his relationship was weird. RJ, I never, I looked at RJ, I'm like, yeah, he's just. Uh, <laughs> B. <laughs> I honestly didn't know you was uh, 19. I thought you was like 30, dude. I'm like, yeah. Tight. Alright, so basically, uh, I'm, uh, my first impression on me and everybody in here, Kenan. When I met him in middle school, he was just like, I don't know. Like, he was just one of them dudes, like, like you know him, you don't talk to him all like that. But and Mel, is it working? So annoying, dude. Like, oh, I met him in middle school. So annoying. Like, I never would have thought that we like be here right now. And RJ, <laughs> like, I, <laughs> I don't remember. Like, I, I, I don't remember meeting him like in Shaker. But no, I, I know, like, I started like talking to him at uh, at the other shop. And um, I don't know, he was just cool. And Brandon, I met him on, on a release on Carmine Six release day, and. I had went in the store and got him uh, a pair of Carmines because I wasn't reselling back then, so I didn't really know like what was going on. I thought he was so shysty. like he had on a ski mask and like like his like his eyebrows like like they he looked mad kind of like I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like I just thought he was shysty. and then and then I seen Vaughn walk up behind us like we had, Vaughn had on a fanny pack like I just Bro, thought like boy like, I didn't know him for I just thought he was like a little goofball like I don't know. <laughs> hey, that fanny pack is crazy. <laughs> I'll probably say like everybody, Kenan. Kenan was really funny, man. That's what I'll say. Kenan is a funny young man. Boy, if you don't be on Kenan, like on Kenan, I don't want to say cuss word, but like <laughs> on his butt. Like he was on his butt. <laughs> I was, that, that's how I met Kenan. Kenan in school with Jerry. I met Jerry when was probably like yeah, eighth. Yeah, eighth. He moved in eighth, and I was like, first walked in, I didn't like him because he was just like everybody kept talking about him. When he came in, it was like, bro, he about to be so good at basketball on the team. <laughs> he used to walk all weird. I'm like, who he is this little weird? Like, it was, I don't know, but he sucked. He sucked. <laughs> That's how I met Jerry. It's great. RJ, I'm at RJ at the old shop. I didn't know RJ before this. So I, like say, I don't know, he's a good guy. He's smart enough. Yeah. I'm at B probably with Vaughn. Vaughn had introduced me to B. I was, I was, I ain't know who B was. He was, I met him on release. He was a little weird. Kind of seemed weird. <laughs> like, he was always masked up, hood up, big coat. He was just weird. Like, I don't know. Vaughn, I'm not, I've known Vaughn for too long. If that makes sense. Like, I don't know. That's my cousin. I, yeah, man, I know Vaughn. <laughs> <laughs> I know Vaughn. <laughs> um, I say Kenan. First time I met Kenan, I was like, honestly, I was like, I don't know who I'm pulling up on to get these shoes, but, but I knew, I knew it was one of, the, like, one of my friend's friends, but when he came out, I was just like, oh gosh, I, mean, I didn't think he knew nothing about shoes, so that was Kenan, but I did. Uh, Jerry, I met him before all of them back at, like we were saying, back at like elementary school. I don't remember how we met. Uh, Mel, Brennan, and Vaughn, I met them all at the same time at the shop. I thought, man, I thought they was the richest people in the world when I first got there. I then swear, I slowly, bro. then I slowly started to see them. Now I thought they, 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 they was the funniest group of people ever. They yeah, they thought he had cheesy and no cheese. I didn't say, <laughs> I didn't say y'all didn't have no cheese. Y'all definitely was, but like, no. I just, I just thought y'all was, bro, I don't know. I'm not saying that y'all not. I'm just saying, but back then at the old shop, y'all know how, how it was. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah, it was just, it was always a, it was a new story in that old shop every day, every single day. Uh, <laughs> I met Vaughn, I went to school with him since middle school, and then University of Blue one day, Mel came along. He was a little weird. I don't know. 
sat on the staircase and showed off his one pair he got to eat. Hey, I didn't know. I didn't know it was a such thing as buying more than one pair. Like after I bought my pair, I used to go home. I was so happy. Then on Carmine Day, Mel brought his friends, and now I met Jerry. He wins uh, finish line and got me a pair of shoes. And I met Ken on University Blue one day. He was just tagging along with Mel too. <laughs> Then RJ, I met him. This girl posted somebody with shoes. I'm like, who's this? Oh, yeah, and Brandon did know you before. I seen he had used shoes. He was laid out on the oh, ground. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. He, he, Brandon thought. Brandon, Brandon came into the store, and Brandon was like, bro, no. Get away from him. He Brandon, sells fake. He sells fake. Don't trust him, bro. Brandon thought I sold fake shoes when he first met. Like, that was hilarious. Yeah, I remember. Bro, Brandon thought everybody sold fakes. Because I because I had a pair of obsidian ones that were personal that I was trying to sell. He thought they were fake. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and that's about it. You in the vlog? Come on, live in camera. For the shoe store, what's the next question? Question for the live. Y'all like my drip for real? <laughs> what's the best pair of shoes y'all got in there for real? Oh, Scott, what's the most exclusive pair of shoes y'all got in there? What's the most exclusive pair in the Are these Westerman 3s reimagined? Oh, show me. These ain't came on yet. Yeah. Right now he is. Well, y'all, that's still a part of that little Q and A. That's what he said. Uh, he said, "That's Cal." He said, "You gotta come." He said, "That's Cal." He said, "Come on." He said, "Come on." These ain't out yet. He's crazy. Exclusive. Ooh, that ass. Yeah, that's crazy. Y'all got these shoes. 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 Y'all got how many pairs you got? You got hella. That nigga at home. Oh, no. No, you ain't. How many pairs you got? The last question is being since you know we talking about taking risks and all the young resellers watching or all the uh the next generation, the next wave, everything coming. It's gonna be a day that y'all stop doing this one day. Who would y'all tell to the young people watching us? Let me know if you need help anything. What is what's the best advice to young resellers besides just taking risks? Like what advice would you give them? I would say, know what you're buying, know your product, know, know what you're buying and what you're selling. Because if you don't know that, you, I'm gonna say you're not gonna get far, but you're gonna lose out on a lot. Connections. Ooh, That's yeah. important too. Make, make connections. Yes. Right. Yeah, and they're the right people. Too. You know the right people. You never know when they, you know, when they come for you. I always tell people <laughs> the connections you have, the bond and connections you have with somebody, is gonna be more than the money. If that makes sense, you know what I'm saying? My money ain't good money, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Cause you, cause you never know, cause you never know what this bond can open up for you mm -hmm. in the long run. But further down the line. Yeah. Something that I had to learn myself is like, don't waste your time like trying to like just get everything for retail, cause like you not you might not touch every shoe for retail. So like, what I say is like, kind of try to build your name and like. It's okay to like buy shoes over market or for market price and you just try to like the price on it. I'll find yeah. it. It's, it's many ways to do it. It's a lot of, like, some people only want to go in the store, some people only want to buy you, some people only sell to a certain person. But reselling like us, like how we came, I'll probably say stay focused. It ain't got nothing to do with it. You just stay focused and really just figure out how to do it. It's not hard, but it's easy to catch up to. If you just learn how to flip the dollar and actually learn what you're doing. Um, I'll say don't be greedy. Find what you're good at. Like just because somebody else is good at looping stores, don't mean you necessarily gonna be good. So just find what you best at. What do, what do looping mean? In store retail, get shit for retail. Find your own way, man. Everybody got their own way. Yeah. I think that's the wrap of the end of Souls little uh, little shebang bang. Alright, y'all. Thanks for watching. Uh, more videos. This is Endless Souls Q&A. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Why be better? Tight. <laughs> we not about to start this back. Yeah, we're not about to start this back. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man?